Hi, everybody. Welcome to our special live event, Solo Pro the Sequel. I'm Dan Pizarski, Chief Technology Officer at LiveU. I've also had the pleasure of being the product manager for our, our portable line of encoders called Solo. Over the years, uh, we think that Solo's portability and reliability have changed the game for houses of worship, corporations, enterprises, IRL streamers, basically content creators of all types and styles. We've seen record numbers of live streams and now even have dedicated communities on places like Facebook, Discord. I just want to give a shout out to those communities as well. It's really great to be able to interact with our users. We appreciate every single one of you. Recent stats show that in the last quarter, over 9 billion hours of live streaming content have been viewed. With that kind of viewership up, reliability is still pretty key. Reliability and quality in the first 90 seconds to make sure your viewers are engaged by your content. That's why we recently announced the LiveU Solo Pro. With HEVC and 4 modem support, it's the first portable streaming encoder that's going to enable 4K video resolution from anywhere you want to stream from. It's going to enable you to deliver the highest quality stream you can. Let's take a look at the new Solo Pro. Unlimited live coverage starts here. Now you've seen the Solar Pro in action, let's get under the hood and get acquainted with some of these new features that are going to offer a big advantage for our content creators. With enriched new features, this future-proof encoder lets you deliver exceptional live quality with up to 4K resolution, full 5G support, uh, and 4 modem support. Really makes sure that an investment now is an encoder that you'll be able to use for years to come in your workflow. For the highest quality uh, that we can offer, big new feature, of course, is 4K P60 support and HEVC encoding. HEVC lets you reach higher quality at lower bit rates, but we know not everywhere accepts HEVC, so don't worry. You'll be able to do use H.264 if that's what your production needs as well, including in 4K. We wanted to really focus here on reliability, leverage all of our know-how when it comes to cellular transmission. So we are supporting up to four external modems, including 4G or 5G, for a total of six IP connections, 4G and 5G external modems, Wi-Fi and LAN, all the way up to 20 megabits per second. We're also focused on limitless coverage. So at just over two pounds, a little over 900 grams, you can take the Solo Pro anywhere. It offers uh, limitless coverage. With USB-C power input, you can use any number of external batteries to extend your uh, stream time, broadcast time, use the unit for as long as you want. In addition to all these features, it's not enough to just be engaging with your content. We know with more deadlines, tension spans getting shorter, the demand to be able to go live quickly and do, go, do your whole production well has just increased. So we wanted to offer a new service along with our Solo Pro users called Stream Tools. <clears throat> what Solo uh, Stream Tools is, is going to do is offer a toolbox of different features to help you reduce your time to live and your complexity in going live. Those features include things like stream branding, stream fallback, and multi-destination. Let's take a little closer look at these features. 
Stream branding will allow you to bring up a logo or watermark, including with transparency. Stream fallback, or what some streamers call be right back, will let you show a Slater video in case your stream stops for any reason at all. Battery, coverage, whatever it might be. That way, on your social platform, the event doesn't end, your audience doesn't move on to the next uh, viewer. Last, but certainly probably the most important, multi-destination will let you stream up to three destinations at the same time. So go to multiple social platforms, go to your own private backend plus a social platform, it's up to you to decide the combinations. We also plan a number of other features for the Stream Tools package. Uh, smaller, though, also important, things like audio channel remapping, resolution changes, uh, format changes. It'll be a whole toolbox of different needs that you have during the stream, all in one feature. We've outlined some of the cutting edge benefits of the new encoder. If you have any technical questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. If you're a current solo user, of course, you can use the support portal. We have already started to add some knowledge base articles there about the new Solo Pro. You can also open a case there on the support portal or contact us anytime at solo.help at live.tv. After announcing the Pro, we did receive some questions via email and social media already that Joyce, our marketing manager, is going to share. Joyce, what were those questions? Thanks so much, Dan. We had a lot of really good questions um, in advance, as well as on Discord and Facebook. So I'll start with what we got through from email. What about my original solo? Does this mean I won't get any update for that? Absolutely not. The original solo, we expect to be in service in the field for years to come. There's even new firmware coming for it, so look for that before the end of the year. That's gonna enable a few new features that I'm sure we'll spend a little time talking about today as well. Uh, and we'll continue to support those units for the lifetime of the unit. So continue to reach out to support for anything that you need. Uh, we and, you know, continue to use that unit. We love all of our current users. It'll, the current unit will even be also for sale for uh, into 2023. So don't feel like the current unit isn't going to still work in your workflow. It's still going to be an important workhorse for everybody. Great. Can I stream SRT with Solo Pro? That's the really good news. So you absolutely can stream SRT with Solo Pro. It'll be SRT out from our Elastic Cloud. So we'll use our protocol that supports bonding, LRT, between the unit and the cloud, just like we do today. And then where we offer our TMP out today with Solo Pro, we'll now offer SRT out. Uh, and that'll enable HEVC, uh, since SRT as a protocol can support HEVC. Plus, I mentioned firmware updates for the current generation solos. We will be bringing the SRT feature back to the current generation solos. That will require a firmware update to the unit. Even though the SRT is coming from the cloud, we need to communicate to the cloud in an additional way to tell it about the SRT setup. Uh, but once that firmware is made available, you'll be able to do SRT out from your current generation solo as well. What's the value of HEVC? When would I be able to use it? Absolutely. So while HEVC, the quality improvement differs based on the complexity of the video, you can roughly think of it as the same quality at half the bit rate. So if you're in a challenged environment and the max bit rate that the modems can support is somewhat limited, you're going to get twice the quality you would with H.264. The little gotcha when it comes to HEVC is in the streaming world, Protocols like RTMP don't support HEVC. So if you want to use HEVC from the Solo Pro, you will need to use SRT out from the cloud. That's when you'll be able to turn HEVC on and use that as the uh, protocol that you're delivering onto some other platform that'll accept HEVC. Do you have to use HEVC to do 4K? And what about four modems? Absolutely not. We will do 4K in H.264 as well. Unit supports up to 20 megabits per second. So 20 megabits per second, H.264 4K looks pretty good. 20 megabits per second, 4K HEVC, of course, looks better, but uh, uh, 20 megabits per second, H.264 4K looks pretty good as well. And also absolutely not on the four modems. I mean, the four modems are definitely there for reliability and for scenarios like 4K, but depending on how challenging your environment is, uh, you know, where you're streaming from, how fast you're moving, things like that, Two modems was, we all know, especially in the world of LTE Advanced and, of course, 5G, two modems completely capable of doing 200 megabits per second as well. This is in regards to stream tools. Can we get monthly subscription options similar to LRT? Absolutely. So we know that our users out there on the solo side really appreciate that 
uh, all of our services we've offered so far for solo can be canceled at any time and you can do month to month if that's the way you want to do it. We know that your workflows, you know, sometimes demand that whether it's a sports season, uh, an academic season, or whether it's just uh, when you need the unit versus when you don't need the unit, you want to be able to stop and not pay for that service when you don't need it. So stream tools will work the same way. How will the four modem option work for Solo Pro? So the way the four modem option works is these USB ports on the side of the unit are actually special USB ports that are wired to power up to four devices. And there'll be a Y cable available with the unit that'll plug in and let you do four modems. So two on either side. In order to let you hold four modems with good RF coverage, we'll make this uh, additional belt pack available. That'll hold all four modems connected to the Y cables very securely and let you use it in that workflow. And then look for other configurations in the future. So we've got some plans, of course, for our desktop form factor users. We know people like to put it next to a laptop when they're using software on their laptop for production. Uh, and we'll come up with a way to hold all four modems that way too. But the key, are these special USB ports and the Y cables that allow you to do four modems. Does Solo Pro support 5G? What about Solo Connect? So the Solo Pro absolutely supports 5G. Much like the current generation Solo, you can attach an external device that does 5G, but upgraded from the current generation Solo, of course, you've got that four modem support and this idea of modularity. So by using external modems for the Solo Pro, we're really looking at the next couple of years of where cellular technology is going through 4G to the next generation, to five, current 5G to the next generation of 5G, when things start to shift to standalone networks um, and the further, the higher categories of the LTE standard. So we want to be able to keep up with all those changes by having the external connectivity be modular. Solo Connect that's available today in the USA and will be available very soon for the rest of the world. We'll start with LTE this year. Uh, so when you buy a Solo Connect kit, that will be LTE. But look in 2023 for an announcement around 5G and Solo Connect. We're definitely, that's the direction we're going. Staying on this topic of Solo Connect, what modems will we use and can I roam with them? So again, immediately on launch day, the, the Solo Connect kits that are available are still the USA only kits. Uh, they'll only be usable in the US. But when we launch the Solo Connect worldwide, it will use a different modem inside. Uh, and that modem is definitely a worldwide modem. So you will be able to roam with those. And the way that the data plans will work, it'll be a data plan for your region, but we'll have a way for you to either roam or switch that plan around when you do want to travel. And for those users that are truly travel vloggers or um, you know travel streamers and need a way to do uh, streaming from all around the world without having to constantly switch the plans, we'll have a worldwide option as well. Okay, these are coming in from Discord and Facebook right now from Shay. Thank you, Shay. Um, will there be a trade-in or loyalty program offered? Absolutely. We have, love our current customers and we want to show our support. Uh, and we understand that you've used the unit for years and, and we really appreciate that. So what will be available is uh, if you're a current user and you get a Solo Pro and activate any of the services against the Solo Pro, LRT, which is, of course, the Elastic Cloud, Solo Connect, the forthcoming stream tools. When you activate one of those services and you've got a current generation unit already in your account, we'll take $250 off of that activation of the new service. That can be claimed anytime. So if you want to wait for stream tools to come out, that's going to be an option. If you want to wait for Solo Connect Worldwide to come out, that's going to be an option. And it'll just be automatic in the portal that will take that $250 off. And then keep the current generation solo. We don't, you don't have to send it back. It's not a, a, a trade-in in, in that sense. So use it as a backup, keep it as a workhorse, sell it in the aftermarket if you want, whatever use case you see for that, that current generation solo, so you get the benefits of both the, the loyalty reward and then also keep the unit. So we know many of our solo users love to push the limits of solo. How long does the battery last in the Solo Pro and what external batteries can be used to push it even further? It's so definitely a good question. So. Actually, the Solo Pro has a bit of a bigger battery than the current generation Solo. You'll get a three hour runtime at full transmission with four modems out of the Solo Pro. The um, SDI version, slightly shorter than that since SDI takes a bit more power uh, on the inside to run the SDI connection. Uh, for the external battery, I'm really excited to have USB-C connectivity on this unit as the way to power from an external battery. Any 45 watt or greater external USB-C battery of which there's 
hundreds out there, meant to power laptops that also use USB-C and other devices that use USB-C will power the unit. I just grabbed one off of Amazon the other day for a trip where I was bringing my Solar Pro uh, with me and was powering it from uh, just a easy to acquire battery right off of Amazon. So no specialized batteries, um, you know, with specialized connectors or anything, you can just use USB-C. Can audio be monitored on the new unit or via stream tools? Absolutely. So stream tools, definitely we're going to add audio monitoring um, and on the unit as well. I mean, one of the advantages that we're going to have by moving up, of course, to a new platform uh, is a uh, new controls on the front, the jog dial that you see, uh, a little easier to operate, we think, than the four-way joystick in the current generation. Plus, of course, the unit itself has got a lot more power internally, bigger internal CPU um, and able to run more on the kind of user interface and what it does. And so we'll be able to add things like a view meter to the unit. Thank you. We've got just a few more questions coming in. Will my current solo support SRT? Yes, it will. So it will take a firmware upgrade. Uh, and the launch date for that firmware upgrade will be this quarter. Uh, but TBD, um, hoping to get it out here in November, we'll see uh, if it's really more like December. And that's because, again, it does need to do a little bit more communication with the cloud to tell it to set up the SRT uh, output. But once that firmware is available, you'll be able to do SRT with your current generation solo. H.264, of course, sent as LRT from the units of the cloud, and then H.264 inside the SRT. Okay, a few more USB questions. Can we use USB connections from mobile phones, like an iPhone or an Android device? Absolutely. So while they are special USB ports on the side, I don't mean to mislead you. You can plug in any normal USB device. The way that they're wired, it will recognize that just a normal device is plugged in. So you can still plug a modem right into the side or a phone in tethered mode or a MiFi in tethered mode. I know many people like to use the different MiFi's out there in USB tethered mode because then you don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi connection between the two. Uh, and I know a lot of people use phones as well. Like the um, Galaxy is a very good 5G connectivity device. Uh, the people like the USB tether to it to get on 5G. And then can you use USB to Ethernet adapters? So that's a good question. Um, I want to put on the roadmap support for USB to Ethernet adapters. Um, you know, I think that uh, with the having a whole brand new platform and the chance to kind of bun bundle in a bunch of new features for it, we'll have a chance to add those USB to Ethernet adapters to it. We don't really see a blocker on that. Um, won't, might not be there on launch day, but it'll definitely be a roadmap item. Okay. And then... Will stream tools support graphics or overlays? So definitely stream tools will support a logo overlay, including with transparency. And then the future roadmap for what more graphics will support there, I think, uh, you know, we'll work on. Lower thirds, bringing up a slate, intro or outro slate, that level of graphics we're definitely very interested in. If you're looking for full interactive graphics, I think that'll still be reserved for some other tools. and You'll still want to use a full production environment for that. Stream tools won't really be a full production environment. It is a, just as the name says, a toolbox of different uh, tools for your stream. But if all you need is you know, on, on launch day, a logo in the corner, as we know many users have asked for over the years, that'll be capable. And then as, you know, as we have a chance to add to the roadmap and, and add more features to it, I think intro and outro slates, things like that uh, will be, you know, the way we'll support graphics. Okay, so we had a few people join, so they're asking similar questions. So we just want to reiterate, does the Pro have any internal modems? No internal modems. It's up to four external. We really see that modularity is key for the future. I mean, if you think about where cell technology is going right now, there's a lot of change happening very rapidly. So while 5G networks are available now, I think we all know that the version of 5G networks that are available aren't really where 5G is going to be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. There's a lot of new techniques coming, massive MIMO, standalone, millimeter wave, you know, all the, these upgrades to the 5G technology stack. So we want to be able to keep up with that. And key to keeping up with that is the modularity of having the connections external here. When is the global release expected? Our neighbors in Canada want to know when they can get it as well. <laughs> Absolutely. So we will definitely have units shipping in November and then more units available in December. They will be available this quarter. Uh, quantities will be a little limited through the end of the year. Um, so if you're really interested in having a unit, try to get your pre-order in now. Um, and then very beginning of next year, we should see plenty of quantity available and uh, be able to get it whenever you need. Okay, last question. Is there a way to choose bitrate of audio encoding on the Solo Pro? Uh, that, that is a good one, yes. It's been a long missing one. 
So yes, uh, on the on the Solo Pro, um, overcome some of the limitations on the current generation Solo to block that, and you'd be able to pick your audio bit rate uh, for your stream. Absolutely. Now, this isn't a question. This is a comment. They want you to pick up the spinning Solo so you can show it off and show the size of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. So uh, I think, you know, very portable. I'll show you the bag, too, as a matter of fact. That's why I brought it. Um, very portable, again, just about two pounds, just over 900 grams. Uh, very ruggedized, rubber bumpers on each corner. Uh, you can drop it. Don't. I'm not saying drop it. I'm just saying you could if you had to, you know. Uh, and, um, you know, very rugged design in terms of the, the overall size of the unit. Now, we're going to have available as a separate accessory, I think I mentioned very briefly, this belt pack. Uh, so with the unit in the box, you'll get the sleeve, very much like the current generation today. I didn't bring one of the sleeves with me, and now in hindsight I should have. The sleeve that goes around it, that sleeve will have a shoulder strap so that you can wear the, the unit on its side. That sleeve really comfortably holds two modems. So it'll come with the L cables like the current generation unit does, and you'll be able to put two modems in the sleeve, just like the configuration you're used to with the current generation solo. If you want to upgrade to four modems, we need that sleeve doesn't really comfortably hold four modems with good RF reception, so we had to upgrade our plan a little bit there. And this is the upgraded plan for that. So this is the new um, Live View Solo belt pack. It's got um, pockets here on the side for up to four modems, two on either side. It's got cable routing for the Y cables to go in on the inside. It's got a clear top so you can see the screen on the unit, get feedback on, on what the unit's doing. It's got an extra pocket in the front um, so that you can carry an external battery with it. Or if you wanna carry the USB-C AC adapter with it, you can fit that in there as well. And it's got a shock mount on the inside. So if you're doing something exciting with it, motocross, uh, mountain biking, surfing, whatever it might be, then the, the shock mount can hold the unit and uh, holds it with a vibration protection as well. All good on questions? Awesome. So contact your local Live View sales rep, reseller, distribution partner today. Uh, for LiveView Solo Pro availability and pricing, you can go to get.liveview.tv slash solo dash pro. I think we tried to fit as many special characters in there as we could uh, to make that URL as hard as possible to um, find out more about the unit and, and be contacted for more information. I uh, want to give a special shout out to um, our distribution partner, Broadfield Distributing for producing this live event and allowing us to use their production studio here on Long Island. We really appreciate it. And I want to also give a shout out to Joyce and Shay, who helped with the production as well. To everybody out there, all of our uh, LiveView users, thank you for watching.